This is NBC News Digest. Here is Chuck Scarborough, NBC News. Good evening. At the Tokyo summit, President Reagan got some agreement on moves against Libya, tougher travel limits and a ban on arms sales, but there was no consensus on military action or economic sanctions. For their part, the finance ministers agreed to some controls on world currency fluctuations. The Soviet newspaper Pravda now says the flames from the Chernobyl reactor shot 100 feet into the air and the boots of firemen stuck in the melted asphalt at the base of the plant. U.S. officials say there is no danger here, even though high clouds of radiation have now spread over the northwestern states. At a ceremony marking 25 years since Alan Shepard's first suborbital flight, astronaut Robert Crippen spoke of NASA's current problems. We would like to think that we're infallible. We're not. We proved that on January the 28th, and we underscored it again this past Saturday. We certainly are in a low in the space program, but this too shall pass. Saturday's failure of a Delta rocket may have been caused by a short circuit, investigators said today. An Atlas Centaur launch scheduled later this month will probably be delayed. Theodore Bundy, a suspected serial killer, lost an appeal to the Supreme Court today and could be executed next month for two murders he was convicted of in Florida. A government panel of health experts said big doses of vitamins, calcium supplements, and other minerals can cause problems ranging from nerve damage to hair loss. Food is better for you, they said. And a sign of the times, baby on board has fathered a lot of variations. Highway safety experts are not especially amused and say signs in car windows don't increase safety. I'm Chuck Scarborough in New York. More news later on this NBC station.